Hello everyone, and welcome to 2007 Progress video number 97. As you can see, we are currently doing a little Slayer, and uh, yeah, we will be doing a bit of Slayer in this episode. Um, we've been grinding out magic pretty hard the past couple of episodes, so I decided to take a break and do some Slayer for a while. We are only about 200k off of a strength level, so we won't be doing a ton of Slayer, just a little bit. And also, on that note, we did just advance a range level from our, you know, cannon, of course. You know, I must say that is quite nice, doing Slayer, all these cannon tasks. I've gained, like, four levels purely from using the cannon, so that is quite nice. At any rate, this Calphite task is almost done, so I'll be back in just a bit. Alrighty, guys, I'll done with our task of Calphites. That is our 127th task in a row, and I am on Modern Magics. God damn it, let me go change to Lunars. Alrighty, Duradel, what'll it be? Blah. Whatever, I'll do them. Alrighty, guys, we'll done with our task of Steel Dragons. That is our 128th task in a row. We did get a Ruined Square Shield, which is actually quite rare, to be honest, but whatever. It's not like that's a big of a deal. We could replace it with Dragon Legs, which are like 200k, so... Uh, Baron Spectres, not bad, not bad. Alrighty, guys, we'll done with our task of a Baron Spectres. That is our 129th task in a row. We are about 160k off of our strength level, so getting there relatively quickly won't take much longer at all. So, let's get a new task, and uh, of course, the question is, what will it be, Duradel? Spiritual Mages, nice. Let's get those boots. Alrighty guys, all done with our task of Spiritual Mages. That is our 130th task in a row. We got three pairs of D-boots and a clue scroll, so pretty good loot overall. And let's get a new task right away. Hopefully we can get some Abyssal Demons. Abyssal Demons take forever, but they're really good XP and good money, so... Uh, Abyssal Demons? Eh? Okay, that's a cannon task. Whatever, I won't complain. Dear Jagex. Holy crap, third age me, bro. 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 <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we'll do another task of Suquas. That was our 131st task in a row. So let's get another one. We are about 70k off of a strength level. So if we get a decent task, we should be getting 97 strength on this one, which is uh, pretty awesome. That is not the awesome task, but I will do the task, I suppose. Alrighty, guys, all done with our task of Iron Dragons. That is our 132nd task in a row, and we did get a clue scroll. So let's get a new task right away. As per usual, what'll it be, Duradel? Hello, who's this? I need another assignment. Oh, gargoyles, nice. We'll definitely take that. All right, let's do this clue scroll now. Okay, guys, well, we just got our clue loot, and uh, these little bastards interrupted me, but just some standard rune items, seven sweets, you know. Just your standard fairly shit clue scroll. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, well, we just got a hit points level. We are now 95 hit points. I did not really realize that we were that close, so that's pretty cool. There is 95 hit points, and we did not level up combat. I do believe if we get 97 strength, I might get 116 strength, though. I mean, 116 combat. So, anyway, there's 95 hit points, and we will finish this uh, Gargoyles task. Alrighty, guys, just advance a strength level. We are now 97 strength, and I do believe we got our combat ups. Let's see. Nope, never mind. Just kidding. We will remain at 115 combat for a while, but that's okay. Anyway, guys, there is 97 strength. That is quite cool. Very nice. We uh, only have two more to go until 99. Nice. Alrighty, guys. All done with our task of Gargoyles. That is our 133rd task in a row. We've got three Runefuls and a Clue Scroll. Uh, we also got a Hit Points level and a Strength level. So that is probably the last Slayer task we're going to be doing on this episode. But, of course, let's always get a new task before we carry on. And then we can... Uh, do a clue scroll, and then we'll probably start training some magic again. Alrighty, what'll it be? Spiritual Warriors. Okay, they're, they're decent loot, I suppose. Alrighty, guys. Well, I actually accidentally did lose the clip of me doing that clue loot. Uh, I didn't get shit from it. So it doesn't really matter. But uh, as I said, that was the last of Slayer on this episode. So we did move on to some magic. I did uh, one trip of magic. Um... I kind of I have to split it into just true trips because I couldn't buy um, all you longbows or all mage longbows, so I bought some of both, and I just decided to split them into two separate trips. As in, I just finished all my magic ones, 
And the total loot is, you know, 4.6 fill from Alex, and then all these rune items. And what I need to bring up to you guys right now, too, is that because of the bank tabs, like I said, I am starting a bit of a Slayer tab. So as you can see, I do have some rune items in here already. So we'll just put this all in here. Um, I suppose when I'm done with this magic level, I'll probably Alk them all. Uh, I don't think I'll get a serious uh, Slayer tab until I'm done with magic. Because this whole Slayer tab thing actually will be quite useful as then I can track how many rune drops I get from uh, training magic and whatnot. But anyway, like I said, there was about 3k casts done, and as you see, we still have 2k U longbows to go. Well, we are only about 170k off of 91 magic, so we are just about there. So uh, I will be back once I am done with my second part of this magic level, and we'll have 91 magic. Alrighty guys, well there we go. As you just saw, we just got 91 magic. That's uh, quite nice. Only three more levels to go. Uh, you know, and honestly, I thought that this kind of was going to suck getting magic up because it takes a while. But uh, as I said, this whole killing Steel Dragon Alking thing, it's pretty relaxing, so I don't even mind it at all. Um, Alright, yeah, there's 91 magic. As you can see, we still have about 700, 600 casts of... Fire Wave, Alk left, and that's, the thing is with that is, like, I do my calculations based on the base XP of Fire Wave, and the base XP of Fire Wave, as in, when you splash, is 42 XP, but obviously, as you saw there, I just got 113 XP for my max hit, which is a 20, so it's kind of hard to calculate how many runes exactly I need, so I just go off the base, which obviously, you know, I don't splash every hit, so... I always end up having a ton of extra longbows and stuff, so it feels like I'm saving money. I realize it doesn't because I just end up using them over you know, over on the next level, but it just makes me feel like I'm saving money at least. So uh, I guess one more thing also, someone did die and I picked up their glory. I PM'd them and they said I can keep it and I said okay. So that's where this glory came from and uh, we also did get 100 silver ore. Anyways, let's head back to the bank and we can take a look at our Slayer tab that I am about to Alk. It's got a shit ton of rune items in it. Right, so as you can see, we have a ton of rune items in our inventory. So I'll just Alk them all and then we'll see how much cash we turn up with. Alrighty, well we turn up with 610k. That is uh, quite nice for just Alking rune items. So we are back up to 22 million. Oh, no, not quite, never mind. I lied. We are, okay, we're basically at, you know what, hold on, hold on one Anyways, there we are back up to 22 mil. I alked 10 longbows. There we are back up to 22 mil, and as you can see, we still have a thousand U longbows, almost a thousand natures, and a little over a thousand bloods left to put towards the next level, so that's quite nice. Save a bit of money there. And, uh, yeah, I suppose we will, uh, just buy the supplies for 92 right away and grind that out. Alrighty guys, well if you look at my inventory, you can see we have 5,500 casts of Fire Wave and Elk, which will be enough to get us to 92 magic. Uh, I know I do not have enough anti-fires in this inventory to do it all at once. I'll probably get about, mm, I think I'll get about 3k cast out of this inventory. So we'll probably just split it up into 2k, or I mean, excuse me, two inventories to make it seem a little quicker. Because, you know, it's more of a mental thing. It's kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy where you imagine that because of less in your inventory you feel like there's less to do so it kind of like is an intentional thing to bring less because it makes it feel like it's taking less time you know what I mean but anyway enough rambling we have enough runes for 92 magic so let's get to it oh cool cool this is actually the third kill of the day like I just got home from school after I made that uh, ramble commentary last night so we're carrying on with that inventory and uh, this is about the third steel dragon kill of the day and we get ourselves a dragon blight skirt which is the same drop rate as Dragon Plate Legs, but is cheaper. But, you know, whatever. What are you going to do? It It is what it is. It's it's a dragon drop. It's a nice it's a nice looking drop. So, we'll take it. We'll take it for sure. Alrighty, guys. We'll done with those first 3k casts of Fire, Wave, and Elk. You can see the total loot in our inventory. So, we'll just throw this in the bank tab. But we will keep all this cash out. Uh, just so I can keep track of how much money I get back total from Alking. So, we'll just throw this in the tab and then finish off... The rest of those casts, and you know what, phone? Fuck you. Alrighty, guys, there is 92 magic. As you see, we actually got it on the last hit, so it's not being interrupted by a bunch of messages. So, uh, yep, there is 92 magic. Oh, God. It's like 680k to a level. That's disgusting. But uh, at least we're only two levels left to go, and that is quite nice to see. But, yeah, there's 92 magic. We'll uh, kill a few more of these, and then we'll bank, and we can take a look at the drop tab. 
Alrighty guys, so if you go into the tab here, we put this all in. Obviously we had that 3.9 mil from the ALK, so we're up to 19 mil, and after we ALK all this and Telescope, we should be back up to about 20 mil, which is quite nice. So, uh, let me ALK all of these drops, and then we can sell this stuff, and we'll see how much we total got back from the loot. Alrighty guys, we have everything sold, we have 305k in the inventory, and also I'll tell you right now, I'm going to be saving these rune bars and rune bolts until the end, because they'll be a lot easier to sell in bulk, just so you know. And this 100 silver ore is just a rare drop table job. Anyway, what I found is that the average buy offer for a dragon plate skirt is about 170k on Zybez. And I looked it up, and what I found was that the dragon plate skirt actually alks for 162k, so why would I not just do this? As you can see, it just went up about 160 something k. So now I know to alk my dragon plate skirt drops if I ever get them. <laughs> That's kind of sad, but whatever. Put this back in the bank, and we are back up to the 20 mil cash stack. So we're not doing too bad as far as losing money on this magic training. We do have 1.2k U longs left over, as well as a little over 1k bloods and almost 1k nature runes. So we are doing quite well as far as supplies goes, as far as you know money usage. So I'm quite happy with this method. Once again, we dig in 92 magic in this episode. Still only two levels left to go. I don't know why I just sounded like that. Babe. <laughs> Whatever. I had a thought. Drop it. It is what it is. It's over. It's done. That's a wrap. That's it for this video. This is the weirdest fucking outro I've ever done. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.